Hey, Jason Gaddis here with The Smart Couple. Today I'm going to talk to you about the three types of marriages people find themselves in. This is good information to have if you're with a spouse who is one type and you're another type, you're going to frustrate a lot. So if you're on the same page though, your chances of succeeding and going to the next level and staying married longer are better. Okay. So first type is the careful type. Careful. Second type is careless types. And the third type is the caring types. All right, I'll go over each of these one by one here. The careful types make the, the point of the marriage really about comfort and security. They really focus on being safe. And finally, I found the one I can kind of park my car here and whoo, I don't really have to do anything anymore. And they really, their orientation within the marriage is let's get back to comfortable and let's get back to being safe. The careless types, on the other hand, uh, really care about pleasure and fun. Their orientation is about having a good time. And so they get married to like have a great life and let's just have fun together and let's go do stuff and travel and um, enjoy ourselves, have lots of sex, etc. Okay, the careless types. And the careless types, by the way, are mostly focused on themselves, whereas the careful types are focused on the other person. You can see a person that's focused on being comfortable and safe they're gonna look to the other person a lot. It's not safe, it's not safe. Or, gosh, can you just stop doing that so that I can be comfortable here? Whereas the careless types are focused on themselves. Hey, they're, they're focused on the other person a bit too, but they're like, what can I do to enjoy myself more? And so they'll shut down a lot of drama and conflict because they just are like, no, you're, you're raining on my parade here. You're like spoiling the party. And the caring types are focused on both self and other and they are really into and orient towards growth and development these types really like to grow and because they're focused on themselves and their partner they want both parties to grow and they're into developing themselves because they understand that if you try to get married and just do one or two here, you're going to be stuck after a while. And yet the person that understands growth and development here is smarter because you understand the relationships about growth in an ongoing way. You never stop growing if you're going to be married to someone. And when you do stop growing, because you might, you're probably stuck in one or two here. So this is really the only thing you can count on in a marriage is that you're going to grow and develop yourself. And if you get on board, you're going to suffer even less and enjoy yourself more. And then you can add on carelessness, carefulness, lots of pleasure, lots of fun, um, and even really trying to feel a sense of safety and security within the marriage. But based on growth, not based on let's freeze and stay safe here because you growing is scary to me and I'm uncomfortable now. That's not very dynamic, right? It's very static and there's, creates a lot of tension in the system that starts to snap, right? With lots of outbursts, resentments, fights, etc. Okay, so um, last thing I'll say is if you're a careful type and you're with a caring type, that's a problem. If you're a careless type and you're with a caring type, that's a problem. These two tend to go well together because they're opposites. You attract opposites and that works for a little while and you can make that that marriage work really well if you embrace this down here right if you're a yes to this and you are up here you'll succeed but if you're trying to say no to growth and development and you're gonna stay up here you're gonna get really frustrated if you're up here and you're with someone that's caring you'll also get really frustrated 
this person's going to outgrow you every time. And if you're a careless type and you're with a caring type, this person will outgrow you every time. So it's pretty important to get the context of your marriage down so that you can enjoy yourself and feel safe over the long haul. How do you do that? You're both down here. Focus on growth and development. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful and we'll see you next time.